morning, is it morning? Afternoon. Afternoon. It's Saturday and it's my birthday weekend. <laughs> but it's not actually her birthday, so. It's my birthday tomorrow. No special treatment today. <laughs> but because my birthday's on a Sunday, and my family have come up, so my sister's come down from London and my mum and dad have come up from Cornwall. We thought we'd celebrate on the Sunday so we can go out for a meal because they'll have to go back tomorrow because my mum and dad will have a long drive back to Cornwall. So uh, yeah. we're celebrating today and it's kind of a little bit of a surprise, isn't it? It is. Alex has organised the day. I organised some of the day all by myself. Although the weather hasn't. And then the weather disobliged and yeah. it's like you can see the rain. We were supposed to be doing something outdoors, right? Well, sort of outdoors. So we're going to have to discuss this Doesn't have to be outdoors, but yeah. But we're walking into town because I spent all week indoors, pretty much. Didn't get a lot yeah. of time outside, working hard. So I wanted to walk into town, even if it's raining. I just like walking, getting yeah. fresh air. It's nice. At least it's not cold. No, it's, it's not cold uh, at all. It's quite warm. Yeah. I'm um, <laughs> quite hot. I've only got three yeah, layers really on. Hot. I put my hat on to sort of protect me from yeah. the rain, but... Yeah, I'm excited for today. Oh. Lots of good food, I hope. Shout out for the bike lane. Oh, the food's going to be legit. Where are you going? Sorry, I was <laughs> avoiding the bike lane. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, we'll put you away though, because you're getting wet. There's a special place in hell for people who design maps and don't put, you are here on it anywhere. Yes, I'd love to go to Salsa, but where am I? of Devil's Dyke and um, how beautiful is this? You can see the South Downs, the Hundred Acre Woods, the sea, it's beautiful. Look at the 360 degree views. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Is that the viewing point? Yeah, let's go to the viewing point. It's very muddy. Luckily, we've both got our docks on. Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's have a look in the telescope. Oh look, you can kind of see something. Actually, we laugh. You can kind of see something through the clouds. This is hilarious. Always my birthday. The weather is always like this because my birthday is on the 21st of January. If you look closely, you can see where I was cycling yesterday, just at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> today, the main aim today though is just to spend time with my family so we can go have a drink inside in the warmth. How creepy do these woods look? Can you imagine going in there? I bet there's a witch in there ready to cast some spells. Look at it. It's really pretty, you know. It's a bloody maze to get in. Where's the door? What the hell? I think that my dad parked around the back as far away as possible from the entrance. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Look what you did! I need to chop that end bit off. I'll tell you about the food I had last night. Hang on, let me show them this bed that Maddie's sister slept on. How awesome is our sofa? My parents are coming over in a minute. They're bringing breakfast food. I'm so hungry. But last night we had the most epic meal of my life and we went to Terra Terre in Brighton, which is a vegetarian restaurant. and. For dessert, we got this pudding called the Chocoholic, and you have it between at least two people, and it was just the most insane pudding ever because it came with like mini churros, like a cupcake, loads of um, fruit, like strawberries, truffles, and like dipping oh. sauce. And it came with some kind of alcoholic liqueur thing, which I didn't have, but 
who was like a little straw. Nice. I mean, what really else was there? Right. Oh, and there was a clementine sorbet, which is probably the tastiest oh. sorbet I've ever had. And everything, the whole meal was just out of this world. Everything about the pudding was like perfect. Like I know. The churros were cooked perfectly. The chocolate little cake thing was amazing. Yeah. The dipping sauce was great. It was incredible. And for the main, I had like steamed buns, which, oh my God, I need to learn how to make them, rice steamed buns. And um, I think Alex, my sister and my dad all had the, like it was like an Indian dish and it was just... Like potato rusty. Yeah. Oh, everything just was amazing. It was oh, so like, incredible. The menu was just the most epic menu I've mm. ever seen. And also we went to Purezza for lunch and that oh, was and so had, good. You had KFC. Oh yeah, it was like um, Kentucky Fried Cauliflower. Korean Fried. But it was Korean Fried. It was really delicious. So I'm excited for breakfast now because I don't know if you guys have it. I was talking to my sister about this this morning. Whenever I, when you eat a lot of food, like rich food the night before. You get hungry? You get hungrier in the morning. It's yeah. like you expand your stomach, so you wake up, like I woke up starving and I'm so hungry. Yeah. So I'm excited for them to get here with some food. <gasps> and I can open present. <laughs> Oh boy. You got enough there. Looks good, doesn't it? Happy birthday, dear Madeline. Happy birthday to you. Look at it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Look. And they've got little moons and stars. Yeah. Where'd you get this from? Angel Bakery. Is it in Brighton? Yeah. That's so great. It's vegan, obviously. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to guess who this is from. Is this from you? Oh, no. Did you Thought read the front? From <laughs> Today is that extra special day when you're the birthday girls so put on your favourite outfit and give us a twirl. Uh, this is my favourite outfit. Look. <laughs> That's so cool. Who's that from? Me. Where did you get this card That's from? awesome. Where did you make this? Really nicely wrapped. Thank you. Yes. Only three pieces of tape. Ah, Tom put out these pens for my bullet journal. Let's have a look. I can't blame it open them. Oh, the front. Oh. It's all Japanese. They're calligraphy pens. Why so many? <laughs> they just come in a pack. Yeah. That's cool. The amount of ink you use, you've already used my yeah, pen ink up. They're like nice pens that um, can like you make them thick and thin when you write. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can kind of like, because they're like, so you can write like this and then push down to make them, you know, mm -hmm. like calligraphy. Oh my gosh, look how satisfying. Because it can go like thick and thin. I don't know how to open this eye, it's not really done. Is it a ring? Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Pass the parcel. Fun. <laughs> is there another one inside here? If there is, you're dead, Alex. Uh, Hello! <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter with you? Five. Come on! Five pound note wrapped up. <laughs> yeah. What is it? You have to plug it in and find out. What is it? USB? Yeah. Huh? Was there something on it? Yeah. What? Oh, he's put all of the Disney films on here. What? Bec Aww. Because Alice has this at her house. She has a USB that she uses on her television and it's got all Disney movies. It's got Brave, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Fantasia, Hercules, all. You paid for them all, I'm sure. Yeah. None of them pirated or anything. No, not at all. <laughs> Fangled, Ratatouille, Fangled. Oh, there's something to do today. Hello. Hello. So oh, many. All on that USB? Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alec. Oh. Some good frosting, I can tell. <laughs> oh no. Hmm? Bloody. I'm going to have the piece of the heart. It probably better yesterday because it, obviously it was day old now, isn't it? Oh, as if that matters. Oh no! <laughs> it's not coming out. Let's take the chocolate piece away first. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Move your pens. Sorry. 
Mmm. Oh, cool type. Dream day. Disney duvet day. I have not done this since living here. I have not had a duvet day. <laughs> I have not had a day where I haven't been working or doing something. Do you want this uh, moved over there? <gasps> so we can cuddle. Oh, great. Select a movie. Uh, what movies are there? Well, you have to pick. Yeah, you have to show me what, the, what we have. Well, turn on the television. Are we playing games? Which one? Uspe. Video. Movies. So I put some of our vlogs on there to make space. <laughs> you can watch some vlogs. Is this the is this the real time one? Real time. This is the real one. Real what? Beast and the Beast. Live action. One is live action. One is the animation. For some reason, it doesn't show the whole title there. One of them I put 2016 at the end. Yeah, that's the live action one. <gasps> yeah, let's watch this! Yay! I think I maybe watched this on my birthday last year in the cinema. Maybe. I think it came out in like March, so I don't. Oh, maybe it was Alice's birthday. Oh yeah, it could have been. Yeah, it was either my friend's birthday or my birthday or like this time last year because I haven't seen it since then. And I wanted to see it because I enjoyed it so much in the cinema because Beauty and the Beast, I think, is my favourite Disney film. I just love it, the music. Oh, this is my dream day. Because yesterday was, because my parents could, because obviously they live, I think I've explained this already. Because yesterday was more like my birthday because we did all the celebrating yesterday. Um because that was convenient for everyone else because obviously they have to get home. So now I get another day where I get to relax and just do nothing and just, because I've had so, it's been so busy since we moved. So I haven't had a day like this. We definitely had time like this over Christmas, which was really lovely, but I've not had one not in this house. No. So it's really great. Actually, even when I was at home, I still, we were still always doing something, weren't we? Well, you were always kind of like, oh, well, it's Christmas. I'll, I'll help with the cooking. Yeah. Or, you know. or like you're doing something with your family or there's something going on. So like, this is great. Cause I, I am the sort of person who does really enjoy being by myself. By by myself, I mean like with Alex, cause he's an extension of me really. But like, I like being like alone to do yeah. nothing. Like this is love, like this Probably is just a dream. This. Just made the I know. sofa into a bed. And I know. Oh my God, we're just going to cuddle with a hot water bottle and some, Chris. I think there'll be more opportunities this year for Sundays like that or Saturdays. Well, I'm actually, because I'm figuring out my routine with work, I'm going to make it a priority. I have a day off every week, yeah. like a self-care day kind of thing, because I don't take enough time for myself to just relax. And I've actually made myself a bit ill this week. I feel kind of ill today because I stayed up too late working. So I'm going to make it a huge thing that it's so important to take yeah. time for yourself and do just chill out like this and do what you want to do, go for a walk, watch some movies and just do what makes you happy, so. What do you want, do you want some food or anything? Or yeah, I'd like some crisps, I think, to snack on. Maybe another cup of tea, like my fourth cup of tea today, because <laughs> cup of teas make the me fact so happy. Just, Maybe a herbal tea. Yeah, I've just washed up all, we used up like 10 bowls and plates this morning with breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I'd <laughs> like a cup nuts. of, a cup of cinnamon and apple tea with yeah. some, there's some salt and vinegar crisps. Oh, there certainly yeah. are. Thank you. And I'm going to watch this and just chill out. Yay! I'm so happy right now. It was so lovely to see my family, my, my sister and my mum and dad, and they all got me such thoughtful gifts. And my sister got me a massage in Brighton this week, and I actually pulled some kind of a muscle in my back, my neck, the other day, and it really was really tense. I think from sitting at my desk all day. Oh, that's going to be a dream, because it's a shoulder, back, and neck massage, and I can't wait. It was so thoughtful of her. And um, my mum got me some really nice bowls and she gave me some money and oh she, and she got me little jars so I can organize my cupboards my neck my back oh god no but anyway I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna enjoy myself also just quickly thank you so much to everyone who wished me happy birthday on my like Instagram and on YouTube I'll probably try and get back to you all or at least like all your comments and stuff tomorrow or something you're all so nice and sweet and it makes me so happy to have like those of people around the world wishing me happy birthday. It's a bit surreal, but really lovely. So thank you so much. Oh, how divine. The music and magic Here we are, Mads. I just rustled these up. They're quite hot though. Mm, what was in it? Oh, just a few bits I found in the kitchen. Um, it's sort of a 
potato. Oh, you did that. You did that yourself. Yeah, really oh. easy. Yeah. So if anybody wants a recipe for that, uh, just pop down to your local Tesco, and in the freezer aisle they have them on clearance, and that's all you need. <laughs> Look at me. Pig. Pig. Piglet. I'm a cute little pig. <laughs> Who even got the pink top? Give me a little oink. I think, I said this to Alex the other day, I said, why are the words pig and cow used to describe people in a negative way when pigs and oh, cows no. are some of the most beautiful, intelligent, sweet, cute animals in the world? We need to stop using the words pig and cow as a negative thing. I think I, if you call me a cow, I'm going to take this as a compliment. If anyone's ever read any classical texts, you'll know the phrase cow-eyed is a compliment. It's a compliment because it means big eyes. Yeah, or Cows are beautiful. You have big cow eyes, cow eyelashes. <laughs> Cows Maybe. are beautiful, oh, and I think that if you call me a pig, then that's kind of saying I'm cute. <laughs> Bombay potato rosti, rosti, rosti baskets. Yeah, rosties yesterday. We did. I didn't. Potato. Okay, we eat them now. Potato, aubergine, cauliflower. Mm. So I guess that's potato. Yes. And the rest of it's just mushed mm. spices and veg. Mm. Mm. What are you watching? I'm watching Ladybird trailer to see if I want to watch it. I think I do. Okie dokie. I'm just showing them the dinner. We were going to get takeaway and then I was... He made it at home. I was like, yeah! That's but it would just... be better than takeaway as well. Yeah. Then we can pile everything in. Tofu, pepper, mushroom, spinach. I had a little bit of a meltdown earlier because Alex, um, I forgot to ask him to get broccoli because, oh gosh, I look so tired. I'm so tired. I just wasn't thinking and I... I haven't had much veg. We haven't eaten many vegetables this week because I think we we're kind of like trying to use all the food we had, weren't we? We we're trying to like eat everything yeah. in the cupboards. So I've barely eaten much vegetables this week, and I'm like craving. You know, we just have a craving for a t certain type of food. I have a massive craving for broccoli, and we don't have any. And all the shops are shut, and I was like, no. But we'll just have loads. Did you just put spinach in it? Yeah. So we put spinach in it, and I'll just buy loads of broccoli tomorrow. I think we're gonna watch Ladybird because that looks like the perfect. It's like a critically acclaimed, like, comedy drama about, like, um, you know, coming of age type of thing. So sounds ideal. Any famous people. What's well, got that Irish girl? What's she called? She's really beautiful. Oh, okay then. She kind of looks like, to me, she looks like an old school actress. Saoirse Ronan. See, she looks, she looks like an old Hollywood actress. Yes. Back in the day. I anyway, she been in. I don't know, but she's got, I know that she's got a really lovely, really lovely Irish accent, but she's American in this. So we're going to watch that and um, enjoy, might be it. enjoy this and probably say goodnight. Well, well. Because it's been yeah, quite, quite a fun birthday vlog. Yeah, because all we're going to do now is just watch movies. And I um, oh, just love today. It's been great just to <laughs> chill out. Thank you for this. What's been the best bit? Everything. Mm. Bit of a cop I out. love dinner and being with my family last night. That was the best bit. It was really fun to hang out because I'm, I'm so, day. I'm so lucky to have family, who, like my mum and dad and my sister, who I see as friends. They're like I have a good time with them and we just have a laugh. And last night we were just having so much fun and laughing. And I'm so lucky mm. to have that. Just we all get on. We're all so similar. <laughs> and you get on with my family so well. And we all have a joke. And we all just, it's really nice. And um, my family are. Hmm. Pretty great. <laughs> as far as families go, I think I've, I've, I've got a good one. Alright, so that'll be the title. The title of the video. <laughs> as far as families go, I've got a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the best, I think, actually. Mm, no. <laughs> You're like, don't mind the best. Yeah. Good thing about this, though, is we're combining our families. Oh, not just yet. <laughs> okay. Good night. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs>